Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to share with you why I used a third-party Wi-Fi router instead of using the Starlink Wi-Fi router here. Now, I did this one six months ago when I started using the Starlink, but then I removed it. And then right now, I'm using the third-party router again because limitations of feature or capability of the Starlink Wi-Fi router. So for me as a power user, I've been using it for six months. And if you don't need other configurations with your Wi-Fi router, aside from the Wi-Fi password and a predefined content filtering, it will work for you. But if you want more configuration like me, like blocking sites, scheduling internet, IP blocking, all these kinds of things, then you definitely need to have a third-party router. The package of Starlink is like set up for um, home user. That's it, period. But if you want to expand that one, you need to have a third-party router to do more of the functionality or features you are looking for. So jump in and I'm going to show it to you step-by-step step, as always. All right, guys, this is my Starlink here. And I've shown you this one a couple of times in my previous videos, right? And I also mentioned in my previous videos that one of the main limitations of this Starlink is that it doesn't have a additional Ethernet port for you to expand the network. Now, what happened to me, so that I'm going to reiterate that one in my previous video that I told you, you need to buy a Starlink Ethernet adapter. So in this diagram that I'm showing you, from the Starlink, it goes to this adapter and into this Ethernet adapter of Starlink, it goes to my network switch here. So I'm not still using a third party router right now because my goal here right now was to expand my network. So basically you don't need to add another router, but there are some limitations with the functionality of the Starlink uh, Wi-Fi router. That's the reason why I'm going to add a third party software like this diagram. So the diagram would be from the Starlink going to the Starlink adapter that we have here, Ethernet adapter, and then it goes to the uh, third party router. And then from the third party router, it can go to this network switch and distribute it to my network. Okay, try to check here on the Starlink app. The only thing that you can do here is if you can see in my phone, content filtering, uh, malware, uh, adult content, but other features, you cannot do it on the Starlink router. That's why I'm placing this one and I'm going to schedule some internet access for some clients. And I wanna show it to you also. So, um, of course, I'm going to rewire this one as I'm showing you right now. I'm going to follow the diagram that I have shown you. Okay, so what I want to do is go to Starlink. Then what I'm going to do here is in the router, I'm going to go to bypass mode and bypass mode will completely disable the built-in Starlink Wi-Fi router. Take note of this. This is an advanced feature that requires a Starlink Ethernet adapter, which we have and separate the Starlink third-party router, which we have here. A manual factory reset will be required to reverse this. So if we want to go back to the setting before, then we can, uh, what do you call this one? We need to do a manual reset with this one. Okay, so I'm going to slide this one. Are you sure? Okay. So let's try to see. Uh, something went wrong. Which features are most important? Um, that's it. We cannot see the router because um, we are using a third party router. So this is basically disabled already. It's like a modem working like a modem as an interface for this one to connect to the internet. Okay. So we jump into my computer and check some of the settings of my third party router. It doesn't need to be Netgear. It could be other um, um, network router that you have there. To access our Wi-Fi router, you go here and like simply type in control panel you can see it here i'll click on control panel and then you go for the network and internet then network in sharing center click that and you will see that this is the netgear 065g 
and I'm going to click it here. This is what I'm connected. I want to check the IP address. So details and then the IP address of the Wi-Fi router is 10, this one, the default gateway 10.0.0.1. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, open up my browser here. Then I'm going to type in 10.0.0.1. Then I'm going to enter. It's going to ask for the username and password of the Wi-Fi router. So you need to know that one. If you haven't set anything, you go at the back of that Wi-Fi router and check it. And then here we go. Okay, we don't need that. So you can see right now here, right, that there are uh, there are things that we can do that we cannot do in the Starlink Wi-Fi router. So the Starlink Wi-Fi router is limited to that uh, predefined content filtering and some buttons you can turn off and the statistics of, of the internet from the Starlink device. But for the functionality of the router, uh, there are things that you would want to do. Like for me, as you can see it here, um, um, I want to go to advanced. So if you go to advanced and... Um, these kinds of features are standard features with third-party routers nowadays. It's not like uh, you cannot do it with other devices or other Wi-Fi router. You go ahead and look for that. You will find that one that it can it can do it. So for me, for my sake, I'm using a Netgear RAX20. Uh, and this is actually uh, not the high-level kind of router that Netgear has. So I'm really impressed that it has this functionality. So what I want to do, even though there are a lot of functions here, my main concern is security just to give you an idea of what I want to do with the third-party router that the Starlink Wi-Fi router cannot do, right? So for example, I have access control, block sites, block services, and a schedule. And of course, the Starlink Wi-Fi router has a content filtering, but like what I've mentioned, it's predefined. You cannot select a website. So for, for this case, I'm just going to give you a scenario here so that you can get the idea. All right, I just want to go and check the device that I I want to to apply because I don't want to apply it to everybody. I want to apply it to a single user or a device, a specific device. Okay, so um, I want to go for a setup and I want to go to LAN setup. Right, um, in the LAN setup, um, I went on to put a static IP on one of the devices right here. You go here. Uh, use router as DHCP server, but you can add reservation, right? So I did add a reservation here, uh, this IP address. So I can add if I want more devices. So you can see it here. There are other devices and you can click one of these ones because they already have the IP address. For example, let's try to do this one. I'm going to add this and then you can see uh, name must not be blank. Okay, so I'll just uh, try. Uh, this one so that you know I'll just put try and then I'm going to add once I have added that one this uh, device whatever you this device is you will have this IP address every time you connect to the router so what's next I'm going to go to the security once I jump into the security I can go to uh, block services uh, this block sites um, before we go to block services block sites you can do the block sites per per domain per keyword okay now going back to the block services, I wanna to go to block services and this is what I made. I wanna do per schedule and add, right? So once you have added, like what I have did it here, um, I already defined, um, you can select all, you can select what protocol, you can select the starting port number, these are the port number, and then user defined, and then filter services only for this IP address. You can put the IP address, which is three, the one that we added, and then we can add this one. So once you did that one, I already had two things here. You can go ahead and schedule, right? So you can schedule it here. I want to do the blocking starting at 8 p.m. so that they are going to sleep. And then by the time they wake up around eight again, then uh, the blocking will not, the, the whole access for the internet will be restored, right? So that's the concept of this one. Um, uh, the idea behind using a third-party router is that uh, you do not have the, the, the Starlink Wi-Fi router has limited feature in terms of the capability of routers. And there are a lot of things you can do, like uh, VPN and all those kinds of stuff here. Um, but I, le I leave that up to you guys because... Um, um, I know that if you are going to use a third-party router, you're looking 
uh, for some other features that the Starlink Wi-Fi router can do. So if you have learned something from this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, share this one to your friends, and see you in my next video.